Hello everyone, welcome to this new Touch Designer tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to uh, achieve the next uh, generative design tutorial. That is the chapter 2.0. And it's a basic uh, network using uh, shapes. We'll start using more uh, shapes in these next tutorials. So the page for this uh, tutorial is, is this one. We have an interactive uh, screen that has some uh, lines and we uh, increase the amount of lines with uh, the uh, y uh, axis uh, movement and we increase the line uh, length in the x axis movement okay so Yep, uh, we're going to start with a blank um, network. We're going to go up one level and we're going to make active the parameters. We're going to uh, start with a, a panel with uh, 1280 resolution by 1280. And on the look uh, page, we're going to text uh, point slash bg to the background top so now we go inside and we split our screen on the second screen we select panel and we're going to add a panel chop in this panel chop we're going to select uh, inside u and inside v we can rename these ones to mouse X and mouse Y. It's the same. So I'm going to uh, put the basic, the basic network. We're going to work with a line. This line uh, needs to be copied with a copy soap. And then now we can uh, visualize our geometry so we have a geometry a camera and a material so as we're wo working with lines we were we're going to add a line mat then uh, we're going to add a render this render we're going to come on page and on resolution we type parent dot width and parent dot height we change pixel format to 32 bit float rgba and uh yeah that's it for for this uh operator and then we have a uh, transform this transform needs to be white and we need to turn on the alpha and comp over background background color we switch to on Finally, we add a null, and this null will be our VG. So now we can start seeing or watching our line on the screen. Okay, so if we take a look to the uh, processing uh, code, we can see that uh, these are the important things that we need to calculate. Circle resolution means the amount of lines of that are being copied of the original line. Radius means the length of that line. And um, angle means the angle between each, each line. So they are uh, perfectly distributed around one cycle. Okay. And also the stroke weight that is calculated by the most position divided by 20. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, circle resolution. So we add a select. On this select, we select most Y. Remember that our um, most Y is invert in touch designer so we need to make an inversion to that number and we can do that by uh, changing in the range page of the math uh, operator from one to zero and 
we need to uh, remap to 2 to 80. Okay, so 2 to 80. So now you can see that if we are on the top, we have 2, and we if we are on the bottom, we have 80. And on the op op page, integer, we change it to round. So now we have uh, integer numbers. Okay, so in this select, also we can rename to circle res. And after this, we add a math, sorry, a merge. And after that, we add a null. Then from this null, we can export this uh, circle res will be to the number of copies we have on this copy shop. So these are the total number of copies, but there are not, uh, a, a, we can see them because we haven't done any transformation. So they are all copied in the same uh, position. And uh, that's the reason that we can see them. So to have that angle, we need to divide a full angle that is two pi divided by the number of uh, copies that we have. So we can start from here because this is our number of copies. So we can uh, use an expression chop. In this expression, we can uh, use or type 360 that is a uh, two pi or a full cycle divided by me input val that is the this current value so now this is our angle then we just add a rename and this uh, rename we can change it to angle and we finally connect it to the merge and now we can export it from null one to uh, rotate C. We select shop reference and now we can see that our lines are perfect, perfectly distributed. Okay, so the next thing is to uh, change the width of the line. So this width can be done or we can calculate by using a uh, select this time we're going to select uh, mouse X. We can change it to uh, radius. That is the same that is here. And here, then we add a mat. So first we're going to multiply this uh, value. Um, yeah, this. I'm going to merge it, uh, oops, sorry, just this one. I'm going to merge it and here, and then I'm going to export it to point B position. So here on the multi add, first we need to multiply our value by the whole uh, width, parent dot width. So we're going from zero to width. But to visualize this better, we need to change our camera settings. So we're going to view, we change to orthographic and ortho width, we need to go to parent dot width. So now you can see uh, this, but, but as it's a full line, uh, or full um, canvas is 1280, uh, but we need to have a maximum of our length of the middle. That's why it's uh, we're calculating the radius. So to do this in the same here, we need just to uh, rest to this whole value, the length of the, um, of the total canvas. So we go to parent dot, oops, dot width divided by two. And 
we need to go minus so now you can see that we're going from the same interaction we have on generative design okay so we are almost there we only need to go and uh, change our line settings so our line we don't need a uh, far color because we are on two dimension so we turn it off our line color will needs to be black we can see it if we play with this uh, sketch and our width of the line is uh, varying by using this expression also we need to see here that our caps are square so that that's why they have this uh, rectangle uh, like shape and we can also make that here on touch designer so line and cap type we go to square and now they are squared okay so or with near because we are on the near color will be equal to um, we can go to mouse y this mouse y needs to be invert so we need to rest one to that mouse y so we have here first this zero value to this one value okay and then this value needs to be multiplied by our parent height because we are on the y-axis oops nice and again we encapsulate this expression in another uh, parenthesis and finally we divide by 20 so now we have this uh, value that is almost the same in uh, generative design okay so if we go here uh, very uh, high we can not see our two line but if we add here uh, just a small value so let me see now we can see our two line even if we are on the top so yeah that's it i think that's that's the whole uh, tutorial uh, as i said before this is a, a basic introduction to manipulate uh, shapes and also um, for my patreon subscribers this uh, uh, let me see um, okay this uh, uh, network will be uh, available this uh, file where you can have this uh, tutorial and also how to recreate this with instances with tops and how to use that uh, kind of um, information this texture information and this sub information to have different uh, outcomes of the same um, principle so this uh, file will be available for all uh, my patrons and I want to thank all of you that are fol uh, following me and helping me to make more of these tutorials. Uh, stay tuned, I will be uh, releasing more uh, of these generative design tutorials. Uh, my plan is to um, make all the whole book, but it will take time. And I hope uh, this, this is useful for you. So see you next time. Uh, goodbye.